Who sent for email marketing complete tutorial for beginners step by step? Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use Moosend for our email campaigns. They provide us the opportunity to start with free trial. So here we are on Moosend.com. Let's click on start free and we'll come to page where we need to register it. We need to input our email address, some information and also like approve our email. So honestly, I already have an account and here we are. It will be pretty easy for you to register it. So here we are on the home page. As you can see, they provide us the opportunity to make it easier to get started. We can easily create our first email list, import our subscribers, set up our first from name. And the last step is just about to create your first campaign. But in this case, I'm going to show you separately all the features. So in the top of the screen, we can find uh, some folders we can easily interact with. Basically the home page here, uh, plus button. From this button, we can easily create like campaigns, email list, automations, landing pages, uh, like subscription forms, and also in the new website. On the campaigns where we can manage all the campaigns we already have, like regular, RSS and repeatable. And as you can see, we can easily also find some stats here, like total campaigns, average open percent, like click percent and unsubscribe percent. So sometimes it could be really interesting to analyze all the data. To create a campaign, we just simply need to click on this button here. If you are going to growth tools, we can find the landing pages and subscription forms. So basically from this page here, we can easily interact with uh, like uh, different landing pages. We can create and do some other stuff. So all the uh, things about like growth tools are here and the audience uh, from this page here we can easily manage all the contacts we have all the subscribers we are going to interact with so basically we can easily add we can like click on new and as you can see we can add the email list we just simply need to input the email list name like uh, and some other stuff so let it be like email list one let's click on create and from this page here we need to add some members we are going to interact we can easily click on add a member and as you can see uh, we can find uh, some fields we need to fill like email name mobile and so on and after that they will be successfully added to our base uh, you can also import your like uh, subscribers uh, from the C XLS files and also like from different platforms and on the segments area we can find like uh, different segments we can create easily if we'll click we need to also like choose this one here and then just uh, follow these tabs described here so uh, pretty cool on the reports area there is like a campaign reports we can easily interact with in order to find some statistics of course we have to create our first campaign we're going to do it a little bit later and also like automation area we can find some like um, schemas we are going to interact through so we can easily create our automations from this page here so let's try to create a new campaign let's go to campaigns folder and we'll go to regular let's click on create new campaign and here we have like three categories regular a b testing or repeatable in my case i'm going to create a regular campaign so let it be like this uh, we need to choose the campaign time, let it be like plain text or HTML. Uh, it depends on your purposes, of course, so let it be like HTML, for example. The campaign name, uh, it should be like the name, it will be easy for us to interact, so I'm going to name it like campaign1. Uh, subject line, let it be like welcome, welcome message, for example, like the first uh, letter a user will receive a uh, preview text here we need to input like this is a text to the uh, to the right of your subject line it's a good opportunity to add secondary messaging that will capture your subscribers attention let it be like uh, thanks for sub or something like this and also we need to choose a from name we're going to send like from our uh, email and a reply to we can reply uh, make it like easy to reply to our like email here uh, same confirmation yes our account and also i'm going to track your campaign with google analytics let's turn this function on it's pretty helpful to analyze uh, track your campaign revenue also let it be on why not so let's click on next 
and we'll come to the next page where we need to choose email list in this case let's choose like a health and first mailing list and let's click on next we can also like choose both of them it could be like this and we'll come to design page uh, where we can like find custom design templates we can simply turn this on and as you can see time to go creative choose one of our responsive fully customizable templates to get start fast or create your design from scratch with zero coding skills let's click on start uh, designing and we'll come to our editor basically from this page here we need to choose the template we are going to interact or we can easily create it from scratch so there are a lot of different templates we can easily use let it be for example the experience m why not let's click on preview to view how does it look like it's totally responsive we can easily uh, switch between different devices and as you can see it's pretty cool let's click on the use template and on the editor page you can easily interact with every single element as you can see from the left side we can add like different layouts items and settings like items is like image tags button articles pacer social share and so on so there are a lot of options we can interact just simply drag and drop it right up here and as you can see our text was successfully added so i'm going to delete it now yes in this case we can interact easily and also we can add like different layouts we are going to use or we can change some settings so every single element here has its own properties for example for text they display it as you can see here we can make it bold italic change the alignment and so on there are a lot of options we can do we can make it as a link we can add like highlight it or do some other stuff and also a lot of uh, different properties displayed in the right side menu so you can easily click and as you can see for example this one here it's like a logo in the right side we could change it right up here so um, basically we can switch between like edit page comments preview code and history also if you are interested in coding you can easily interact with this step uh, so i'm going to uh, like click on update campaign and continue but in your case of course uh, you need to uh, you need to customize the letter as you're going is as you want to see it so let it be like this so uh, yes and we'll come back basically to our campaign creating page and now we need to schedule delivery as you can see when do you want to send here we need to choose the uh, time when we'd like to send uh, our email so basically uh, after that step we can just simply uh, go to click on next and from this page here we can easily preview all the features how does it look like all these tabs uh, like described here and as you can see all of them like uh, were completed now we can easily click on send a test email if you want to send or we can click on send in the right bottom corner uh, to send this like to, to run this campaign or we can click on save and exit in the left bottom corner i'm going to do like this and as you can see now we can find our campaign right up here we can interact with like different properties and some other stuff if you're going to discover the paid plans we can find that they have like free plan pro and enterprise and the price depends on the number of subscribers we have so the more you have the more you have to pay so this is a way basically of how can we interact with moosand.com for email marketing. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.